you will be seeing something without a good quality, I would say, in many countries. Uh, how you see or you saw Eurovision before you were, before you were selected to Eurovision Song Contest? And what is your inspiration uh, by when you create your music in your own country? Could you name some artists you, you are inspired by? Well, if you start naming the artists, it's going to be a very long list because uh, we have, we all have in common is the rock music. But uh, you know, rock actually in itself, you know, there are too many branches. So we are we were affected by different people. But our uh, inspiration is life itself and uh, our point of view that how we actually manage life. This is the inspiration for us and. Uh, with our music, we try to tell this to the people, and uh, I think we are doing a good job. And uh, <clears throat> about Eurovision, okay, uh, when we were kids, there was only this Turkish radio and television in Turkey, and it was only one TV channel. So Eurovision was the thing that we've been waiting for the whole year because it was a big, big thing. You know, all the family members used to come together, you know, to watch the show. And it was so much fun, so you remember those days. Uh, and it's no matter, I mean, it's, it can be a rock band or a pop band. We don't look, we never look, put it that way, okay? We are serious guys and we have a good kid career in Turkey, so we go to Eurovision and, you know, we don't like that. You know, it's, it's nothing like this. First of all, we are presenting our country and we are honored. You know, it could be smaller thing than Eurovision very small thing, but uh, when it comes down to representing the country, we really like to do our best. And this is an honor given to us, so we are so happy about that. Well, I can speak more, but I believe that you get the whole, the main idea, right? It's because it's in Turkish, called the same Japan, we had a Turkish power from a divine Turkey, what we call the Bible. It was her song, and it was dedicated. It was a program which was dedicated to her uh, for seven years. She was on stage, uh, so it was a surprise for her. Uh, and uh, lately, we met, we made a duet with her because uh, she made an album with twelve rock artists in Turkey. <coughs> I think we're not going to sing it because we like to sing with our instruments live, and uh, we would not be happy when we sing just one person. <laughs> I think it would take a little bit too long to. Buraya bakabilir miyiz sonuçta? Teşekkürler. Hi, Roy Bennett from ESCToday.com. 
Um, I love the video and the whole sort of 60s vibe that the song gives. Um, is that influenced from your uh, participation in uh, music festivals in England and Bulgaria? This is a question. I think, okay. Yeah. Um, no, no, it's, it's going to be retro, it's going to be uh, colorful as you saw, and um, it's, you're going to like it. Gonna like it. I like yeah. it already. Okay. More questions? And, um, yes, this is a good idea because the song is in Serbian, but I know you have also an English version. Yes, we have a magical version. Can we, can we hear something? All at once I feel as though the springs on my doorstep Cause he says I'm pretty, he won't let me forget And when I meet his arms I know he's a keeper Yes. Yeah. 